question. Like, so are eights mostly extroverted? Because I we're both think. fours, and I don't relate to what she just said. Yeah, I don't, that makes sense. I don't. I don't know, but I think so. Yeah. I feel like when I think about eights and when I think of other people's reviews, um, which I'm sure most, if not all of us, have heard Sleeping At Last, our own song. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I would describe eights as the battle people. Like, if yeah. we were in the show Divergent, we would definitely <laughs> be dauntless. Okay. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. The fighters. Like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're I yeah. feel like every, t this, this might sound, okay, this might sound crazy, but I'm just going to explain it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, like in my brain, how I view myself is as if I'm always going into battle. What no matter what yeah. it is. Like I feel like I view I know that like my mindset about myself is like set in a powerful way, but that's mm. a very eight thing to feel. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. And if you listen to the song The Number Eight for Sleeping at Last, so I listened to it with Shekinah, um, Robbie and his wife McKenna. Oh, yeah. and I heard about them. Yes, and Mary yeah. was with us. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> they were like, y'all gonna cry, y'all gonna cry. And because I guess the Enneagram is, um, the Enneagram, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm sure you know, is like, uh, it stems from a childhood pain or tragedy or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the Myers-Briggs is how you process the things that happen right. to you. Yes. That's what I heard. I don't know, yeah. I'm not an expert. And know. so yeah. when I That's grew right. up, I had a lot of times where I had to fight for myself and I had to fight for my family mm. that like now as an adult, mm -hmm. I can't step away from that way of thinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, you're I'm, conditioned a certain way. Yes, I'm the protective friend. I'm mm. the loud friend. I'm that makes the, sense because my little brother's so an eight. <laughs> yes. You kind of grew up in this. <laughs> I feel like you always <laughs> talk about how me and Taylor are like so oh my similar. Gosh. Yeah, my little brother Taylor, yeah. they are both eights and they're very much like the most gentle souls. And mm -hmm. I think that's why I feel like I get you. Like, yeah. Even though we're right. nothing alike. But the most gentle souls, <laughs> but when they come into a room, I am telling you, it's like the whole building shakes. They take over. Yes, and yes, like, yes. Should I be scared? That's how I, I view <laughs> eights. Yeah. It's like very, not saying that any other ones are less powerful or anything yeah. like that, but I, I view myself as like, they're, eights are the front runners. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the front, yeah. people on the they front shake line. They yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. All, like a lot of leaders in our country and other countries are eights. eights. Yeah. Just Challengers. because, yeah, that's yep. like, that's how you get into my, every, In authority. any type of, like any type of test that you do, I am always put in that category. An eight, ENFP, challenger. Yeah. Um, mm. I, my spirit animal is a lion. There was this <laughs> one time I was I was at a um, job interview and they they had us do like a personality test and it was the animal ones like the lion the, yeah. the lab or whatever. Oh my gosh! And yeah. and I I when she handed it to me I said oh I'm a lion and I handed it back and she's <laughs> like well fill it out just in case and I said. By what your reaction, I was like, "Would anybody but a lion tell you that they're a lion?" <laughs> 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 I, I already handed it back, mean, yeah, and, and so I filled it out, mean. and she was like, "You are definitely a lion." I was like, "Girl, I told you." <laughs> um, Sounds like a lion to me, right? <laughs> and so, like any any time I take like any type of assessment, whatever, I am yeah. very cookie cutter, the yeah. challenger, mm -hmm. the you know what I'm saying, and it mm -hmm. and everybody knows. Everybody <laughs> always guesses yeah. that I'm an eight. Every yeah. time, the like I'm like the activist. Cause I'm a little bit yeah. like, yeah. such an yeah. activist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my uh, they're, gosh. One of the that. core traits is like justice centered, yeah. mm -hmm. and I think it. I don't know. Again, maybe I shouldn't say it then because <laughs> we are on a podcast. But like, um, y'all can fact check her if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fact <laughs> check because I don't comment below if she's wrong. Like I really, I focus on my own because like I'm, I guess I'm self-centered in this way but I mean I focus on my own and my sisters like I know her Enneagram and I know how we work together and that's that's, that's, that's it and that's so fair, yeah. um so anyways but yeah I think that um like I don't know maybe you can speak more on it about how the Enneagram is like a childhood wound or something. Mm -hmm. Do you know, can you elaborate on that? Because I don't actually know everything. Um, well, the Enneagram is mostly based on your basic fear and your basic desire, which I explained in our previous video about Enneagram. And so with that, interesting. that means that like, you know, if 
it does trace back to your childhood, things that have traumatically happened to you. They're not always traumatic, you. though. Yeah, true. Some of them are not. But that have caused you, uh, have shaped <laughs> you. Just, no, I know. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were, actually. Well, so I'm a four, and fours are wired to be different mm -hmm. and authentic. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think Works anything such bad. A yeah, I know, right? I always have to be different. Like, if you, everyone wears black, mm -hmm. i got to wear a cheetah print. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like, no, I kinda feel you that. see it? I'm just yeah. kidding. You feel that way? Yeah, sometimes. You might have a wing four. You might have a wing four, y'all. Yeah. Uh -oh. I also have a wing uh -oh. five, so they're right she there. She might have one wing. She ain't uh, a wingless <laughs> right now. She she she. I am right. <laughs> then I'm like, ooh, what's that over there? <laughs> Tell us how you fly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like this. This. Oh, yeah. this Out of control. Is. But my mom would always say, hey, let's do it different. Or like, you're so unique. Yeah. Or like, mm -hmm. oh, paint it this way. Or like, even yeah, when you that. match clothes, she'd be like, take the the smallest wow. amount of this pink right here and mm -hmm. go get some pink shoes. Like, mm. just always wow. very different. And so naturally, that. that's how I'm wired now. And so you won't find me. I yeah. might not even wear a white dress on my wedding day. It'll right. be like, I don't, I don't think I, I, I have either. Either. purple. You know I what I mean? I like, either. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. I can see that. Well, and, but the thing about force too is like, there's this theory called the soul child theory mm -hmm. that you were born a different type than what you currently are. And that through a shaping of like, is this for everybody or is every type has this? Okay. So you can look yours up later, but um, I don't know off the top of my though. head, but um, for fours, so you uh, were as a child, the one, the number that you integrate to, which is like a whole nother complicated spectrum of Enneagram, but there's integration and disintegration. And so fours integrate to ones. And so that means that like, and this makes total sense for me, like ones are perfectionists. Ones are very mm. like, they want everything to be done right, clean cut, they follow the rules. That was me to a T. Up until like high school. See that. Oh yeah, up until high school, like absolutely. Really? Like wow. straight A student, like always followed the rules, always teacher's pet, always those things. And the, the theory of Soul Child says that um, as a little Enneagram one, something happened to you and you realize that you could never be perfect. And so therefore, if I can't be perfect, I just want to be the most unique. And so, yeah. for me, that's where that stems from. Like, nobody so told much. me as a child, like, oh, you're so unique or you're so different. Mm. But it, it, I just had a realization one day, like, I'm never going to be the best. I'm never going to be at the very top of what so I, I do. And so, mm. if I can't be the best, I've got to be the most different. I've got to stand mm. out. I've got to be the most unique. I've got to you know? win some awards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's yeah. the wing three. i got to oh. win. <laughs> Yeah, so. you know, I don't know. I, I don't know if this relates to the Enneagram at all, but the way I see the world is like I have this optimal way that I want things to be, mm. and I try, and I, I guess that's some level of perfection, but it's not mm -hmm. like a standard of anybody else's but mine. Yeah, for so it's super unique. Yeah, I'm, I'm an idealist, mm -hmm. and so like down to what I eat and like mm. what I wear, like even a meal, right? Like I'll be like, I want the pizza. It should have, in my mind, I make this all up, it should have 12 like little things of pepperoni. Mm -hmm. If it's looking a little crusty, I don't want it. <laughs> wow. Like, I get like that, I have to be like, Gabby, I need you to like right. come yeah. on your mountain top. Like, that's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, that's a I major like trait of force too. Because like, I'm like, let's just get through life, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm like, dang, yeah. it's not what I wanted. Like yeah. I'm such a visionary. Mm, like the vision yeah. has to be fulfilled and yeah. it's crazy. I feel that though. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do Definitely. feel that actually. Yeah. Which makes me, I don't know, for so long, too, I kind of shied away from that because it's so much easier and so much less, like, friction and conflict mm -hmm. if you just, like, let the vision kind of go however. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we're right. working in a group, right, and, like, we just got done producing our book. We don't need another marketing book if you didn't know. It's hey. out now. <laughs> so, like, go get yours. long story book. short, what we had think? seven people working on this book. And like, I can't tell you the amount of times I was like, screw it. Like, I just don't. Just throw it away. <laughs> but then I would go pray or whatever and I'd feel like, okay, let's right. no, let's stay with, with the vision. And yeah. it took four years, you know what I mean? And so I just really couldn't get with like settling in certain areas. Like mm -hmm. we had one graphic designer, bless his heart. He's amazing for what he does, but it wasn't my personal vision. preference mm -hmm. or vision. Mm -hmm. Just is what it is. There's nothing yeah. good or bad about it. But and so he did all the graphics for the book and I was like, yeah, I don't like them. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. they're just not for this. And uh, totally offended, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I could have settled and just went with it, but I was just like, this represents me and I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I think there's something the to that. Mm -hmm. right. And so I went on a search. I was like, do you do graphics? Do you do graphics? Do you yeah. do graphics? Right. <laughs> I found just Barrett. She hey. does graphics. And so, wow. yeah. She does a great job. Yeah. She does a great job. Yeah. And so like, that's, that's a very, common quality of force too is the idealist they want it done 
you know, in a way that they imagine. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, but it has to be the way that you imagined, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. fours are very imaginative. And so, yeah, that, that makes a lot so. of sense.